Welcome to Moss, Book 2. This was just released for MetaQuest, with other platforms to follow. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers, it would be fantastic if you were one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video, or the game, or any tips or tricks you have for Moss Book 2. Let's find our little friend again, shall we? We remember you, dear reader, even if you do not remember us. You see, this is no ordinary book. Within these pages lives a hero, one who could determine all our fates. She needs a reader who knows just how important they truly are. Shall we begin? Every war in Moss begins and ends with the Five Glass. And on the Cinder Night, the Arcane tried to take them all. Sir Argus, commander of the Kingsguard, sacrificed everything that night to ensure the King's Glass was safe. The Sprites, too, had their own glass to protect. And their great champion did so until his final breath. The story of his glass would resume much later when young Quill of the Clearing, out on one of her humble adventures, found what the Sprite Champion concealed in death. When she showed her Uncle Argus the green glass, everything changed. He understood well the gravity of her find, and rushed off to seek counsel with the Sprites. But Argus was captured by the Arcane, and so the starving Aduran came to Quill with a promise to lead her to her uncle. Quill knew of starthings only from campfire tales of magic and mischief. Yet still, she decided to follow. Quill knew her uncle needed her, but not just her. You see, Quill was bonded by the glass to a reader, a soul whose gifts proved the perfect complement to the young hero. Together, they were twofold. They embarked on a perilous journey. The Arcane's pursuit was relentless, and Quill barely survived. A Durin, who had become a friend of sorts, was not as fortunate. Ending up in the jaws of Sarfog. Sarfog was the Arcane's most ruthless general, and at the very gates of the castle seized on that cinder night, the two fold heroes slayed the monstrous serpent and rescued Argus from captivity. But the Arcane do not end with Sarfog. The one who leads them will not relent until the Five Glass are in their clutches. And that will unravel this world. Our fate rests with Quill. She needs a true partner by her side. And we hope that is you, dear reader. So let us begin at the castle, where Quill and her uncle must brave the Arcane to retrieve the King's Glass, still hidden away after all these years. Or so they hope. Well, I hope they start us off easy. This is where the first game ended. Oh. 
Ghostface? You're still here. Then you should have this. You can thank me later. Or maybe before. Quill searched the are. castle entrance for her uncle's sword. He'd insisted they'd never reach the King's Glass without it. Quill was shocked to find it hiding in plain sight. She must have missed it last time around. After all, she'd been a bit preoccupied. anything said quill looking up to her reader i couldn't have defeated this monster without you thank you for being here with me high five she left uncle argus alone for too long he could be in grave danger well we're in control now they had to hurry her poor uncle was too injured to defend himself should the arcane find him again. Okay, we got jump. Just moving on through. There could be scrolls to find in these areas. But for now, let's just head out. There's our sword. Got to get used to all the controls again. I don't know what we have. Okay. So, I think we're going to be jumping across here. So, can I uh, power you up? No. Just give me some, some pats. Okay. Let's do a run. Okay, that's good. Oh, we can move this. Or turn it. There we go. I don't think we need to do that, but may as well. Take that. Darn pots. Okay, so now we've got two things. Can't can't move that one. Wait, did I break that? Huh. Didn't know I could do that. Okay. Where's this gonna go to help us get up? Um, can I move this? No, I'm still just breaking pots. Can we get up on one of these? I think it's too high. Yeah, we can get up over here, and then I see. Um, can I pick this up completely? I can, but does that help us at all? I don't think so. I think we have to go around there. So, um, can I move this with? Will on it? I can. So I think that's new. I don't remember doing that before. Um, seems like I can only move it in one direction. Okay, that's fine. We can work with that. Shimmy, shimmy. Um, I'm not sure where we're going here. I can get that scroll, but we gotta open that portcullis somehow. What's this all about? Is there a s oh, there's a pressure plate over here. Okay, so now we can move this onto that. Should keep it open. <laughs> and we're doing a happy dance. Um, jump down, try not to fall too far. Moving on through. 
Uncle Argus! Quill was relieved to find him safe. You found my sword! You wouldn't believe where it was! You know, I never realized just how huge Sarbog was. Shh! Lower your voice, Quill. We're not safe. He could be anywhere. The King's glass hides beneath the throne. We must move quickly and quietly. Your reader. Are they still here? Yes, Uncle. They're right by my side. We're twofold. We aren't afraid of the arcane. A little bit afraid. I see. He said with a hint of pride. Now, keep your ears open and your sword ready. We must get to the throne. Hmm. How do we open this? There's two little rings on it. Well. Sounds a bit ominous. Yeah, after you. of the arcane here. I don't know That's about that. what worries me. Uncle, look out! I can't see you, but I know you're up there, reader. Please. She's in your hands now. I'm working on it. Quill. You're far too important to risk yourself for me. The greater good must always come before matters of the heart. Quill didn't understand. He was our family. He'd always come first. But she knew better than to argue. Don't argue with Argus. We get over here. No, got to go around way back. Not quite. Um, destroy these. That I can do. Come on, Quill, you got this. Uh oh, we got to get back though. Go on ahead. I'll stay a few steps behind. Uh, how do you I get focus down? on getting to over the here. Throne. I guess we just... Oh, that's right. Same way we got in. Hmm. Those look suspicious. I think we got a fight on our hands down here. Okay. Okay. How do I dodge now? Was that it? Let's jump. Okay. Can we get up there? No, we gotta go around that way to get up there. Here goes. Bring it. Who's next? Jump away. Jump away. There we go. Get in, get out. Oh, I was pushing it there. 
All right. Come on. You don't get a high five for that? Well, good work anyway. Still, uh, I thought there was a roll. I haven't quite figured out how to do it. But, uh, for now the jump will do. And I don't think I can do the powered up shots yet. Right? Because that's not doing anything. And yeah, just jumping. Okay. Huh. And this game has some very good graphics. Very well designed. Okay, we've got a pressure plate. We've got a bit of a fight. But we gotta get around there. So can't quite see what to do in there. Oh, can we get up over here? No. Oh, can I grab this guy still? I can. That's right. I know. Don't need to grab you though. I guess I probably don't need to fight him either. Or her. Seems like there's a scroll in there. Moving right along. So far, very similar to the first game. Almost a direct continuation, it would seem. Okay, so that can't go there. Yeah, what's up? You? You like to dance? You like to dance this way. Um, can't get up there. How do we get up there? Over here, it would seem. Right? And then... Here, I don't see any spots for enemies. Is there a scroll up there? Kind of an odd little. What's this all about? Oh, that's how we get over. What did that even do? Oh, okay. So, he can go on the pressure plate. And we'll move on through. Oh, he got a portal. Quill was awestruck. Oh, throne room. This was the legendary throne room. The same room where her uncle was once knighted by the king. Okay, we've got this that moves. We can go down here, but we can't get in there yet. There's another scroll up there. It seems like it's going to be a hub. Well, let's... uh Go to the most obvious place. All clear. She called back to her uncle. 
I've waited years for this moment. By all that's good in this world, I hope it's still locked. Ha! The fools never figured it out. He snickered. Uncle Argus then turned to Quill with a wink and a smirk and plunged his blade into the throne. His sword was the key. Oh, but the triumph soon it. faded as they descended into the eerie quietude of the secret chamber. Please be safe. Her uncle pleaded under his breath with an air of unease Quill had never heard before. A voice barked back. I'd retreat if I were you. Dark, dark magic afoot here. One whip of my wand and a swarm of undead wasps will scour you alive. Her uncle laughed. <laughs> Barnard, don't tell me all this time alone has you communing with the dead. I... I don't have undead wasps. Total bluff! He chuckled. My dear August, I can't believe it's really you! I'm so sorry, fretted her uncle. I tried to get back to you so many times. I just couldn't kill that vicious snake. Their long-awaited embrace was cut short. Argus! Barnard panicked. I feel the reader's presence! The usurper followed you in! No, Barnard! This is Quill, my next of kin and a twofold champion. They slayed Sawfog. Holy whiskers on a weasel! Barnard was stunned. I... Oh, my. Then there's much to discuss. Mogwon tea, anyone? Barnard spent hours recounting his years in hiding, protecting the King's Glass from the Arcane. And with Sarpark dead, that winged tyrant will tear this castle apart. He knows one glass is here. Now two? This is bad. Very bad. Not if Quill gets all five glass first, said her uncle with a grin. Madness, Argus! Barnard replied. Even a twofold cannot take on their army. Not with a ward and forging screechers and scorchers and. Arthur knows what. Hogwash. Uncle Argus retorted. Quill can handle that bloated behemoth after she rallies the Sprite army. Don't you see? Once we join all the glass, there will be no arcane. Even Vader will see it our way. She must. We could unwrite them all, Barnard mused. But Argy, the truce states the glass must remain separate. Truce be damned. We need the remaining glass to restore peace. But first, Quill must rally the sprites. It's the only way. Her uncle's belief in her and the reader swelled Quill's pride. They had a sprite army to inspire and the five glass to unite. And it all started with claiming the king's glass. Well, there you have it. 
First Taste of Moss, Book 2. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers, it would be fantastic if you're one of them. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video, or the game, or any tips or tricks you have for Moss, or Moss Book 2. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.